Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing two of the most popular 9 volt chemistry types, nickel metal hydride and lithium ion. We'll talk about their differences in batteries and chargers to find out which one is the one you need. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Now let's get into the video. What is a 9 volt battery? 9 volt battery is a standard name for its size and shape. It's not actually the nominal voltage itself. For example, you may have seen a 9 volt battery with a 8.4 nominal voltage, but we'll talk more about this later in the video. For now, let's start with similarities. There are a few similarities between nickel metal hydride and lithium ion 9 volt batteries. The first one is their size and shape. They both have rectangular prism shape with rounded edges and a polarized snap connector at the top. They both are rechargeable and can be used in any 9 volt battery powered device, such as smoke detectors, RC toys, and medical equipment. Some similarities in the nickel metal hydride and lithium ion chargers are they both have independent channels, so you don't have to charge them in pairs. The charging current is about 100 milliamps for each channel. Both of the chargers have LED light indicators. And both of the wall plug AC adapters have a range of 100 volts to 240 volts. And that's all for the similarities. Let's move on to their differences. The first difference between nickel metal hydride and lithium ion 9 volt batteries is their capacity. Because lithium ion has a higher energy density than nickel metal hydride, it is able to store more power in a single cell. For example, this lithium ion 9 volt battery has only two cells, but its rated capacity is 600 million hours. While this nickel metal hydride 9 volt battery has seven cells, and its rated capacity is only 250 million hours. And more capacity means a longer runtime. To be more specific, the clock I have here uses 5 watts of power. So the estimated runtime for the clock using this lithium ion battery will be 888 hours or 37 days. And the estimated runtime of this nickel metal hydride battery will be 420 hours or about 17.5 days. And if you're curious about how I got these estimated runtimes, you can check out this video here to learn more. Just remember, more capacity will give your devices more runtime. And because these batteries have different chemistry types, both require a different charging method with different charging voltage and termination. Charging lithium ion batteries on a nickel metal hydride charger, or vice versa, may lead to damage to the batteries or even cause fires. It's important to never mix charging these batteries, and that's why we have two separate chargers for each type. The white one is for nickel metal hydride 9 volt only. It uses negative delta V to detect the full charge. This algorithm will monitor the charging process, detect the voltage drop when the battery reaches the end of charge, and then stops the charging to avoid overcharge. To charge the lithium ion 9 volt batteries, we use the black charger. Because lithium ion batteries have different charging characteristics, the charger uses the constant current, constant voltage algorithm, or CCCV for short to recharge the batteries to full. The charger will first apply a constant current to charge the battery until it reaches a certain value. Then it switches to constant voltage mode in which the charger will maintain the battery's voltage and decrease the current over time until the battery is fully charged. The last difference between nickel metal hydride and lithium ion 9 volt batteries is their voltage. At the beginning of this video, we mentioned that the voltage of a 9 volt battery isn't exactly 9 volts. A 9 volt battery is actually a battery pack that is constructed by multiple battery cells being connected in series. So depending on the 9 volt cell chemistry, 9 volt batteries will have a different nominal voltage ranging from 7.2 to 9.6 volts. And they can be used interchangeably in any application that accepts 9 volt batteries. For example, these Nikomo Hydride 9 volt batteries here have a nominal voltage of 8.4 volts, which is achieved by using 7 nickel metal hydride cells with 1.2 volts each. And if you multiply 1.2 by 7, you'll get 8.4 volts. And this lithium ion 9 volt battery uses only 2 cells, but each cell has voltage of 3.7 volts. So its nominal voltage will be 2 times 3.7 to get 7.4 volts. One extra note, the alkaline 9 volt batteries have an exact 9 volts for its nominal voltage. 
This is because each alkaline cell has a nominal voltage of 1.5 volts. So by connecting the six alkaline cells in series, multiply six by 1.5 volts to get the exact nine volts. Now that we know the similarities and differences between the nickel metal hydride and lithium ion nine volt batteries and chargers, let's move on to which one is the best option for you. When it comes to choosing nine volt batteries, it depends mostly on your device. Most of the time, these lithium ion and nickel metal hydride 9 volt batteries can be used interchangeably in any application that accepts 9 volt batteries. And if you want your devices to have a longer runtime, you might want to use the lithium ion 9 volt batteries since it has a much higher capacity. But if your devices are designed to work with alkaline 9 volts only and you want to switch over to rechargeable batteries, you might want to use the nickel metal hydride 9 volt instead of the lithium ion because of its nominal voltage is higher. To explain further, those applications are more sensitive to voltage than others. They may signal low power warning or run for a very short amount of time, even when you use a fully charged lithium ion 9 volt battery. This is due to the lithium ion 9 volt nominal voltage being only at 7.4 volts. So in this case, nickel metal hydride 9 volt batteries with a nominal voltage of 8.4 volts will work better and it's also more budget friendly. And that's it for today's video. We hope you can now find the right batteries for your applications. If you have any questions or video suggestions, please comment them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to learn new things every week. See you next time.